It is against the law to park within fill in the blank feet of a fire hydrant. A. 10. B. 15. C. 20. D. 25. A. 10. It is against the law to park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. This sign means A. No U turn. B. No left turn. C. No right turn. D. No turning. C. No right turn. This sign indicates that right turns are prohibited. Do not make a right turn at an intersection where this sign is posted. This sign tells you that A. No turns are allowed on this road. B. The road narrows ahead. C. There are a series of curves ahead. D. The road may be slippery when wet. C. There are a series of curves ahead. This sign warns of an upcoming winding road with three or more curves. Your body gets rid of approximately a. 3 alcoholic drinks an hour b. 1 alcoholic drink an hour c. 2 alcoholic drinks an hour d. None of the above b. 1 alcoholic drink an hour The average person's body will process about 1 alcoholic drink in 1 hour. However, Many factors play a part in determining how impaired a person will become when consuming alcohol, including the amount of alcohol consumed, how fast it is consumed, and a person's body weight, food intake, and general health. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Which of the following must you obey over the other three? A. A steady red light. B. A police officer. C. A stop sign. D. A flashing red light. B. A police officer. Directions given by traffic officers take precedence over signs, signals, and pavement markings. People authorized to direct traffic include police officers, fire police, highway work area flag persons, and school crossing persons. When driving in fog, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. D. Hazard flashers. A. Low beam headlights. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, as well as your fog lights, if your vehicle has them. High beams direct their light upwards, where it can bounce off the fog and into your eyes, reducing visibility even more. Which of the following is true regarding seat belts and child restraints in vehicles? A. You should never place an infant or small child in the front seat of a vehicle with airbags. B. An airbag can be dangerous to an infant or small child, even in a low-speed collision. C. You should always make sure all your passengers are using a seat belt or child restraint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Before you drive, always fasten your seat belt and make sure all your passengers are using seat belts or child restraints. Studies have shown that if you use seat belts, your chances of being hurt or killed in a traffic crash are greatly reduced. Children age 12 and under should always ride properly restrained in a rear seat. Never put a rear-facing infant restraint in the front seat of a vehicle with a front passenger airbag.
You see pedestrians near the road. You should a. Sound your horn and maintain your speed. b. Speed up to clear the area quickly. c. Slow down and pass with caution. c. Slow down and pass with caution. Watch for any pedestrian who may cross your path. If you see pedestrians near the road where you are driving, slow down and be prepared to stop, if necessary. This sign means A. One-way traffic B. Intersection ahead C. Merging traffic from the right D. Highway curves ahead C. Merging traffic from the right This sign indicates that there is merging traffic entering from the right. What may help drivers conserve gasoline? A. Sitting in their driveways with their cars running. B. Accelerating quickly. C. Slowing down gradually. D. Braking abruptly. C. Slowing down gradually. Every time you have to stop quickly, it takes time and fuel to accelerate and get your vehicle back up to the speed of traffic. Drivers who look far ahead of their vehicles can slow down gradually or change lanes to avoid unnecessary braking, leading to better gas mileage. If someone has consumed alcoholic drinks, what will help the person overcome the influence of those drinks? A. Tomato juice and lime. B. Hot coffee. C. Fresh air. D. Only time. D. Only time. Only the passage of time will allow a person to overcome the influence of alcohol. To prevent hydroplaning, you should A. Ensure that your tires have good tread depth. B. Ensure that your tires are properly inflated. C. Reduce your speed when driving in the rain. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. To prevent hydroplaning, you should ensure that the tires on your vehicle have good tread depth and are inflated to the proper pressure. Reduce the speed of your vehicle when driving in the rain. Hydroplaning occurs most frequently at higher speeds. Drivers may not pass from either side of a fill in the blank center line. A. Combination solid and broken yellow. B. Single broken yellow. C. Double solid yellow. D. Single broken white. C. Double solid yellow. A double solid yellow line down the center of a two-way road means that it is prohibited for traffic from either direction to cross the center to pass. At an intersection with stop signs on all corners, to whom must you yield the right of way? A. All drivers who got there before you. B. The driver on your right, regardless of who got there first. C. The driver on your left, regardless of who got there first. D. The driver across the intersection from you, regardless of who go there first. A. All drivers who got there before you. At a four-way stop, the vehicle that reaches the intersection first moves forward first. If two or more vehicles arrive at the same time, the vehicle on the right has the right of way. You are involved in an accident and another person is injured. You should A. Move the injured away from the scene immediately. B. Always leave the injured where they are. C. Not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. D. Stay away from the injured. C. Not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid.
After an accident, do not move the injured unnecessarily. Unskilled handling can make serious injuries out of minor ones. Keep the injured warm until skilled help arrives. If there is severe bleeding, attempt to stop the flow of blood with direct pressure. On a freeway, you should look farther ahead than you would on a city street. A. In order to see potential hazards early. B. Because it takes a quarter of a mile to stop your vehicle completely. C. Because it helps you keep up with traffic. A. In order to see potential hazards early. On the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on ramps and interchanges and be prepared for rapid changes in road conditions and traffic flow. You should sound a sharp blast of your horn when A. The driver ahead of you is driving under the speed limit. B. You exit an alley and cannot see what is ahead. C. Another vehicle is in danger of hitting you. D. You want to pass another vehicle. C. Another vehicle is in danger of hitting you. In situations that present no immediate danger, a light tap of the horn is generally sufficient to get the attention of others. A sharp blast of the horn should be used in situations of actual danger, such as when another vehicle is in danger of hitting you. You should not use your horn to encourage someone to drive faster or get out of the way. To improve visibility lowered by rain or fog, drivers should use their A. Low beam headlights B. High beam headlights C. Parking lights A. Low beam headlights Use low beam headlights when driving in rain, snow, sleet, or fog. High beam headlights in adverse weather conditions lower visibility by reflecting off the precipitation and back into the driver's eyes. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an approaching emergency vehicle, you must A. Slow down until it passes you. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. C. Motion for the emergency vehicle to pass you. D. Merge into the right lane and continue driving. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. Yield the right of way to any approaching emergency vehicle that is using its flashing lights or siren, regardless of its direction of travel. You must immediately drive to the right side of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. If you are within an intersection, pass through the intersection before coming to a stop on the right side of the road. You want to park uphill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which direction do you turn your front wheels? A. Straight ahead. B. Right. Toward the side of the road. C. Left. Toward the center of the road. B. Right. Toward the side of the road. When parking either uphill or downhill on a road that has no curb, you should turn your wheels so that the vehicle will roll away from the center of the road if the brakes fail. Backing your vehicle is a. Always dangerous. B. Dangerous if you have a helper. C. Only dangerous in large vehicles. A. Always dangerous. Backing up is always dangerous because it is hard to see behind your vehicle. Use extra caution when backing up. Alcohol causes? A. Loss of concentration. B. Poor coordination. C. Slower judgment. D. All of the above. D. All of the above.
Consuming even a small amount of alcohol will impair your vision, judgment, concentration, and coordination. Unless otherwise posted. What is the maximum speed limit in a school zone where children or crossing guards are present? A. 10 miles per hour. B. 15 miles per hour. C. 20 miles per hour. D. 25 miles per hour. B. 15 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted. The maximum speed limit is 15 miles per hour for vehicles driving within a school zone or near a school crossing where children and or crossing guards are present. Work zone barriers, drums, cones, and signs are used to A. Make drivers angry about slow traffic. B. Inconvenience drivers. C. Keep traffic out of hazardous work zones. C. Keep traffic out of hazardous work zones. Work zones on highways have become increasingly dangerous places for both workers and drivers. When approaching a work zone, watch for materials such as cones, barrels, signs, large vehicles, and workers in brightly colored vests to warn you and direct you. This sign is used to warn drivers that A. The right lane is ending and traffic should merge left. B. The road curves ahead. C. There are upcoming intersections. A. The right lane is ending and traffic should merge left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers that the number of lanes is reduced ahead and that traffic should merge left. You want to park downhill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which way do you turn your front wheels? A. Straight ahead. B. Right, toward the side of the road. C. Left, toward the center of the road. B. Right, toward the side of the road. When parking facing downhill on a road with or without a curb, or when facing uphill on a road without a curb, turn your front wheels toward the edge of the road so your vehicle will roll away from traffic if the brakes fail. However, when parking uphill on a road with a curb, turn your wheels toward the center of the road so the vehicle will roll into the curb if the brakes fail. As you drive, you're required to stop your vehicle? A. At an intersection with a stop sign. B. Where there is a red light. C. When a traffic officer orders you to stop. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Situations where motorists are required to stop include approaching intersections with stop signs, approaching intersections where a red light is either flashing or illuminated, or any time when a traffic officer orders your vehicle to stop. At a railroad crossing, you must a. Watch for vehicles that must stop at all railroad crossings, school buses, trucks carrying hazardous materials, etc. b. Watch for multiple trains. c. Both of the above. c. Both of the above. You must approach all railroad crossings with extreme caution and cross only when you know that no train is coming from either direction. Be aware of vehicles that must stop at all railroad crossings such as school buses and trucks carrying hazardous materials. What is the appropriate action to take when approaching a railroad crossing that does not have signals to direct traffic? A. Always bring the car to a complete stop. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop. C. All railroad crossings have signals so you will never encounter this situation. D. 
Increase your speed to get across the tracks quickly. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop. When approaching an unmarked railroad crossing, slow down and be prepared to stop. Before you cross, be sure that no trains are approaching from either direction on any track. If you see or hear a train coming, stop at a safe distance from the nearest track and wait to proceed until after the train passes. A large truck is ahead of you and is turning right onto a street with two lanes in each direction. The truck A may complete its turn in either of the two lanes. B may have to swing wide to complete the right turn. C must stay in the right lane at all times while turning. B may have to swing wide to complete the right turn. When a vehicle makes a turn, the rear wheels follow a shorter path than the front wheels. The longer the vehicle, the bigger the difference between the paths of the front and rear wheels. Therefore, long trucks often have to swing wide to complete a right turn. What is a potential effect of taking a prescription drug while drinking alcohol? A there will likely be no effect. B. It will make you more alert. C. It can make you unfit to drive. C. It can make you unfit to drive. Legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, can impair your ability to drive. They can be particularly dangerous when used in combination with alcohol. This sign means A. School crossing B. School zone C. Pedestrian crossing C. Pedestrian crossing This sign marks the presence of a crosswalk. Be alert to any pedestrians that may be crossing the roadway. You are driving on the roadway and hear a siren behind you. You should A. Stop where you are. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to get out of the way. D. Slow down. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle coming from behind your vehicle, you must create a clear path for the emergency vehicle and stop. Reduce your speed and safely pull over to the side of the road. If the emergency vehicle is directly behind your vehicle when you are in heavy traffic, keep moving slowly until you can get out of its way. When meeting a car with blinding headlights, you should a. Use your bright lights until the other vehicle dims theirs. B. Flash your lights on and off to warn the other driver. C. Dim your lights and then speed up to pass quickly. D. Look toward the right side of the road. D. Look toward the right side of the road. If a vehicle comes toward you with its high beams on, look away from the headlights and toward the right side of the road until the car has passed. This will keep you from being blinded. If you have an argument with another person and you are angry, you should A. Loudly play the radio while driving so you won't think about your argument. B. Take a few minutes to cool off before driving. C. Drive on the interstate to let off steam. B. Take a few minutes to cool off before driving. Your emotions affect your ability to drive safely. If you are overly angry, excited, afraid, worried, or depressed, you should give yourself time to calm down before operating a vehicle. You need to be able to mentally focus on driving without thinking about the things that made you upset. You have to report a crash to law enforcement when? A. 
Someone is hurt. B. The damage is more than $1,000. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. A crash must be reported to law enforcement if it results in any deaths, injuries, or $1,000 or more in property damage, or $200 or more in damage to non-vehicle government property, such as signs or guardrails. A work zone. A. May be moving or stationary. B. Is marked with black and white signs. C. Does not require a driver to slow down and pay extra attention. D. All of the above. A. May be moving or stationary. Work zones are often stationary, but they may also be present in the form of moving vehicles striping lines, mowing, or removing snow. Work zones are marked by orange signs with black lettering or symbols. Slow down and pay extra attention when approaching or driving through a work zone. When you need to change lanes, it is important to A. Signal your intentions ahead of the lane change. B. Check your blind spot. C. Make sure the lane is clear before entering. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Always signal for an appropriate amount of time before making a lane change or exiting a freeway. Before you make any move to the right or left, quickly turn your head and look over your shoulder to see if your blind spot is clear. If it feels like your tires have lost contact with the surface of the road, you should A. Slow down by shifting into a lower gear. B. Ease your foot off the gas pedal. C. Slow down by pumping the brakes quickly and firmly. B. Ease your foot off the gas pedal. If it feels like your tires have lost contact with the surface of the road, you should ease your foot off the gas pedal and stay off the brakes. Do not try to stop or turn until your tires are gripping the road again. Motorcycles, scooters, and mopeds are not easy to see. Therefore, you should A. Slow down when driving. B. Make constant visual checks. C. Share a lane with a motorcycle. B. Make constant visual checks. Motorcycles can be easily hidden in a vehicle's blind spot or missed in a quick look due to their small size. Drivers of cars must always be alert and looking for motorcycles, mopeds, and scooters. Blind spots are A. Spots in your vision when you become fatigued. B. Areas of the road that cannot be seen in a vehicle's mirrors. C. Traffic control devices. B. Areas of the road that cannot be seen in a vehicle's mirrors. When changing lanes, look over your shoulder in the direction you plan to move. Check for obstructions near the rear corners of your vehicle. These areas are called blind spots because you cannot see them by using your mirrors. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of A. 0.05% B. 0.08% C. 0.02% D. 0.1% B. 0.08% for drivers age 21 or older, it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% or higher. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous.
at dawn or dusk and in rain or snow, it can be hard to see and be seen. A good way to let other drivers know you are there is to turn a. up the instrumental panel lights b. on your parking lights c. on your headlights c. on your headlights you must use your headlights at any time when conditions prevent you from seeing other vehicles and when it may be difficult for other drivers to see you. Always use your low beam headlights if weather conditions require you to use your windshield wipers. If you are driving on a highway next to a single broken white line marking, A. You cannot cross the line to pass. B. You may cross the line to pass and change lanes. C. You may only cross the line to change lanes if you are in the left lane. B. You may cross the line to pass and change lanes. White lines separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. You may cross a dashed white line to pass or change lanes if it is safe to do so. It is dangerous to follow a motorcycle too closely because a. They do not follow the same rules as motor vehicles. B. A motorcycle can stop much faster than a standard vehicle. C. They brake more slowly than motor vehicles. B. A motorcycle can stop much faster than a standard vehicle. Motorcycles can stop quickly and following them too closely endangers your life and that of the motorcyclist. If the motorcyclist makes a mistake, you need to have enough time and space to avoid a crash. When you drive through an area where children are playing, you should expect them a. to know when it is safe to cross the street. B. To stop at the curb before crossing the street. C. To run out in front of you without looking. D. Not to cross the street unless they are with an adult. C. To run out in front of you without looking. You should always reduce your speed and use extra caution when children are in the vicinity. They may fail to understand the danger and may run out in front of you without looking. What does this road sign mean? A. Falling rocks. B. Trucks use second gear. C. Steep hill. C. Steep hill. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that you are approaching a steep hill. Slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear to control your speed and protect your brakes from damage. No zones, are areas around trucks where cars a. disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. b. have sufficient space to travel behind the truck. c. have several car lengths between their vehicle and the truck. a. Disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. No zones, are areas around trucks or buses in which cars disappear into the larger vehicle's blind spots. No zones, can also be defined as areas in which cars are so close to the larger vehicle that they restrict the truck or bus driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. A car being in a, no zone, greatly increases the potential for a crash. If traffic signals at an intersection are not functioning due to a power outage, a. Park your vehicle as far off the road as possible and wait for power to be restored. b. Use hand signals to indicate your intentions to other drivers. C. Turn on your hazard lights and proceed through the intersection without stopping. D. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop.
D. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. If a traffic light at an intersection is not functioning due to a power outage, yield to other drivers in the same manner as you would when approaching a four-way stop. When it is your turn, proceed through the intersection with caution. When driving on slick roads, you should a. Take turns more slowly than usual. b. Change lanes quickly. c. Accelerate quickly. d. Brake hard. a. Take turns more slowly than usual. While it is always dangerous to drive too fast on slippery roads, this is especially true when driving in turns and curves. Be sure to approach them more slowly in slippery conditions than you would under normal circumstances. <laughs>